Hi, this is Dave, Fell Running Guide. Welcome to this week's navigation task. We're in the Peak District for this task and we have a trig point and I want to know where it was taken from. So I'm giving you a choice of two possible locations. So it's either taken from over here in the east on Marjorie Hill looking over towards these upper and lower and lower Misden Cluffs or it's over here again in the east on outer edge looking over to upper and lower small cluffs so which one of those are we looking at these maps by the way are the Auden survey 1 to 25,000 so here we are on the photograph what can we see? Well, we've got a, a flat area and it looks like we've got a horizon line here where the ground drops away. Uh, and then we can't see much after that for quite a distance. That's called the dead ground that we can't see because of the shape of the landscape. And then over in the distance, we've got the ground rising up again. And then over to the right, we've got this higher, looks like a a flat hill with a ridge coming down. Let's just zoom in a little bit. So that allows us to see a little bit more clearly. We've got this, as I mentioned, this horizon line here. And then over in the distance, we can see we've got this stream or clough coming up here. And we've got another one here leading up to this high ground. And here is this ridge dropping down in the middle distance. So let's go back to the maps and have a look. So let's have a look at Marjorie Hill to start with. Now we're on some high ground here, 5.6 meters, and we can see the ground is dropping away. And then this could be all the area in dead ground here that we couldn't see. And then up the other side of the hill is we've got the cluffs, the two cluffs going up and then the ground beyond rises, 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 going out of sight. And we've got um, a flatter area here, then dropping down. So a little more, and you can see the edge of a little more starting to drop away down into this um, clough down here. So um, that looks roughly like the shape that we're looking for. Let's have a look at the other map. So outer edge, again, on high ground dropping away or oh, this would be hidden and then we've got lower small cluff and upper small cluff and then we've got this high ground here with horse stone on it dropping away down there so both maps look reasonably similar so which on which one sorry are we looking for so there's a couple of things to think about let's have a, a zoom in again now it's often quite difficult to judge height when we're looking at photographs, but if we can try and get a feeling of the height of this hill here that then drops away in that ridge, how much higher or lower than us is this? So it looks like a similar kind of height, maybe a little bit lower. That's one thing. But then another thing to notice is where this ridge comes down, where it is in relation to this clough there. So as we look, the ridge comes down and it's definitely over to the right of this clough. So let's go back to the maps. So the first map, the Marjorie Hill map, the height that we were at, or the trig point is at, is 546. Over to where this ridge starts to drop away, that's only 400 meters, so that's 150 meters below. Um, but then the important thing is, look where this ridge comes down. If we were looking across to this ridge, it would be immediately in front of the right-hand clough as we were looking, and it wasn't, was it? It was um, the ridge was further to the right as we looked. Let's check again. So if we're looking straight across to that 
um, top ridge, uh, top clough, that ridge is further to the right. Let's have a look at the second map. So outer edge 540 meters. Here we've got 500, 520 down to 500 meters. So that's not as much lower. Than those not not as um, not as far below as the height difference isn't as great on this one. Um, and then the other thing to look at is the ridge. So again, if we were to go in a straight line from here over to that top clough, then the ridge would be further off to the right, which makes um, more sense. That fits better. And then another thing to look at, let's just go back to the photograph. So just looking across to the near distance, I can't see any evidence of a a wall or a fence line here. But if we look on the maps, if we were at Marjorie Hill, we'd expect to see this boundary line maybe only a hundred meters away. Um, and we can't see that on the outer edge map. There is no um, boundary line. So I'm always reluctant to use man-made features like walls and fences um, initially because they may or may not be there. It's much um, much safer to use the shape of the ground. So we've done that with this ridge and that. But then just as a, a secondary, we might want to look for that um, wall or fence line. And notice on here as well, the contours are a bit steeper. So it looks like the ground drops away more immediately from outer edge. You can see this contour here. Whereas on Marjorie Hill, we're on a bit of a, a flatter ground before it drops away. So, yeah, the ground's starting to drop away quite soon from here. So that is the answer this week. We're actually looking from outer edge over to those two small cluffs. And that was the ridge coming down off or stone nays. So hope you worked it out. I hope it was interesting. Thanks for watching. Look out for next week's navigation task. Bye for now.